Well, NVIDIA is going to be releasing a brand new video card soon. It's the RTX 5060 set to release on May the 19th. I'm recording this video on May the 10th. I'm not sure when I will be posting it to the channel, but hopefully sooner than later, we will see what happens if in fact it is released then. Now, from what I understand, there's two versions of this. There's a 16 gigabyte version and also there's an eight gigabyte version. An eight gigabyte version of any gaming video card in 2025 is, well, I don't know what else to say, stupid. It's completely stupid. It makes no sense whatsoever. You're not going to be able to play brand new Unreal Engine, for example, five games, and it's not going to future-proof your purchase. Whatever you do, do not pick up an eight gigabyte version of a video card from NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel in 2025 if you are a gamer. Now, NVIDIA is going to have some stiff competition at this particular level, namely from Intel and AMD. Around the same time, Intel will be releasing the B770 GPU, and AMD will be releasing the RX 9060 XT. Just a quick thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. If you haven't, though, consider doing so. Also, hit the notification bell, like, share, subscribe, and comment. So Intel had a couple of video cards prior to this one, the 770. They had the B570 and the B580, and rumor is that just maybe the B770 will be a little bit faster, and it is rumored that it might come with 16 gigabytes of VRAM and a 256-bit bus, so that's great. It doesn't appear like the Intel... B770 will actually come with eight gigabytes of memory. That's kind of what I'm gathering so far. They will have a 16 gigabyte version, which makes complete sense. Nothing in 2025, I don't think should come with any less than that. Okay, maybe 12, but come on, throw in some extra. Give us a base of 16 gigabytes all across every single gaming GPU. Now, rumor has it that maybe, and AMD, if you're listening, don't do this. Don't release the 9060, any version, with 8 gigabytes of VRAM. It's a rumor. I don't know if that's true or not but that would be a shame. So which one of these video cards should you get? Well, if you are a serious gamer, don't get any of these, and certainly don't get a video card that has eight gigabytes of memory. If you are a casual gamer or a gamer that is on an extreme budget, well, maybe. But I'm reluctant to suggest any of these video cards for anybody who wants to game, you know, a lot because you will be very disappointed and it's not going to future-proof your purchase. Having said that, <laughs> I'm sure, you know, a lot of people will jump on one of these video cards, you know? I, I get it, I get it. I mean, the world has seemingly gone mad and the prices of everything have gone up and everybody is on a budget, aside from the rich. So I, I get that. Um, and if you if you are thinking about getting one of these, let us know which one you are getting or you're thinking about getting. But save up some extra money and go a level up. You'll thank me and yourself for it, doing that because it will also future-proof your purchase and you'll be able to keep it longer, thus saving yourself some money and aggravation and frustration. <laughs> but good luck with the... Um, Good luck with the 50 series video cards. I, I would advise you actually just to just to forget about forget about the 50 series at all. Even the 5060, forget about it. Just get either a uh, a 9060 or an Intel because Nvidia messed up big time. And I don't think we should be throwing our money at Nvidia uh, for a 50 series video card. Even the 40s, I have a 4090, and you know that connector is pathetic. Anyway, I'm ranting now. I'll see you in the next one.